what's up you welcome back to another video right here on my channel if you're new here i am sonia and you're tuned into another weekend vlog now we are going out of town again okay if you follow me on instagram you have heard me talk about how busy the month of may is and it's only may what 15th 16th here so i have two trips this month that i'm taking this weekend i am going home to charlotte north carolina to um go to my aunt's fascinator brunch um i didn't go home for mother's day weekend because my mom wanted me to come home for this event so i am taking you guys with me to charlotte i am vowing to give you guys a actual vlog this time not just instagram stories that i put into the vlog but an actual vlog okay <laughs> hence i am starting to record while i'm at home getting ready to pack okay so we can get the true vlog let's go on a trip vibes going right now i am about to go to target to just pick up a few things that i need uh for my hotel room i keep looking at my hair because i got these really bad flyaways that i need to tame which is why i'm going to target to find me a wax stick for my hair um but this wig is that same like curly wig that i usually wear during the summer spring summer time um i'll pop a picture up of it curly i just blow dried it out kind of gave it a blowout and uh you know it's a little cute it's a little cute ozzy is back here doing the most so gear up let's go to target i'm like trying to figure out if i want to put a little concealer on i look fine on camera but in person it's giving exhausted because <laughs> i am okay i'm not gonna worry about it it's just gonna be hmm, should i what do you think should i or shouldn't i hmm should i y'all y'all can see like how stressed i've been i've been having breakouts look at look over here breakouts on my skin <sighs> It's just been a lot going on, okay? And I am like eager to get back to the fashion content for y'all, but like your girl ain't been home. Your girl ain't been home, okay? So I'm trying to give y'all the content that's actually taking place in my life. So let's head out to Target. Child, that's terrible. It really is. <laughs> let's head out to Target. Let's go pick up the things that we need and then let's come back here and let's pack before we get on the road in the morning. Okay. It looks like it is getting ready to storm. I pray not. Because I cannot stand getting caught in the rain when I'm at the store. All right, y'all, I made it to Target. I can't really talk because the music is playing. But I have my little list of things that I need. So I'm just gonna pick up some stuff. I'll show y'all what I'm picking up. Target. I'm sitting in the parking lot because I'm trying to figure out if I want to go get me something to eat. I'm kind of dealing with an upset stomach right now, so I don't really want anything to eat. However, I've only eaten once today, and 
after you use the bathroom so many times, you eventually get hungry. You know what I'm saying? So, but I think I'm just gonna end up going home. I have fruit at home. Um, I don't know. I just, I can't think of anything that I would want to not make my stomach hurt even more. So, I think we're getting ready to head back to the house. Y'all, not me out and about and realizing that I ain't got no gas. How am I supposed to be driving five hours to Charlotte, North Carolina tomorrow on a quarter of a tank? So now I gotta turn around so I can go get some gas <laughs> because we need to do that before the morning. Like I'm trying to be a responsible adult. I'm not gonna lie to myself and be like, oh, we can just get gas in the morning. I already know by the time I leave the house, all I'm gonna wanna do is stop and get my Starbucks and get on the road. So I'm about to make a Yui and go get some gas. I was trying to get to the house before it starts pouring down raining. However, comma, we just gonna chance it. Also, my stomach is upset and I gotta use the bathroom again. But we just, <laughs> we just gonna trust in the Lord, okay? Because I, I, should, I should go and get some gas. So I'm about to bust this U-turn real quick. I know y'all can't see my face because I'm driving a little reckless. Um, but yeah, I need to turn around. Cause girl, what are you doing? I Let me tell you something while I got y'all kind of like situated right here. And my apologies because I know the camera is in a weird angle and it's probably shaky. But um, when I tell you, I haven't even had the time to like get into going out of town mode. Like I'm actually really excited about going out of town. But girl, work has been working me, okay? Okay, I'm gonna stop like, work has been working me. Okay, I ain't even had the time to really think about going out of town. Hence why I took today off, because I didn't need to be in the office, but I still ended up working. I had a, a style client today, and I had to finish the style coaching uh, manual that I'm giving all my clients. <sighs> when I tell you, I am like... It's just a lot going on this month. It's just a lot going on this month. So, I'm about to go get some gas. And I will check y'all when we get to the house. Because I can't hold this camera and drive. Okay. Alright, y'all. I am home. Um, Y'all, my stomach is hurting so bad. I have an upset stomach. <sighs> because I had slowly but surely started to incorporate yogurt back into my diet. And I thought that I had found a yogurt that was not going to upset my stomach. Lies and deceit. My stomach is in knots and has been in knots for days. So I ended up skipping out going to get me some dinner. I'm looking because I'm looking for my water cup. I think it's in my um, closet room. But I, I think I'm just going to have water and fruit for dinner because my stomach is jacked up. Like when I tell you my stomach is jacked up, like... And it's so funny because my niece is supposed to be staying with me um, in my hotel room for one night. Baby girl. <laughs> I hope you're ready. I'm going to try to bring some air freshener because, yeah. I showed y'all what I picked up from Target. I got a wax stick. I want to try this on camera with y'all because I don't use wax sticks on my wigs. I usually just do use mousse. But because this wig is like a curly wig that's blown out, you put mousse on it, it's just going to curl back up. So let, let me let me go to the bathroom. Okay. And then we'll come back and see about these. Alright, y'all. I have made it out of the bathroom. So... We're gonna see how this wax stick works. So this is the one I got. It is the Kiss brand. And it just says hair wax stick 24 hour hold peach. It just smells like peach. It's not actually like a peach color or anything like that. Um, dang. So this is what it looks like. And then you just push it up from the bottom, kind of like a push pop. Like so like that. Okay, I ain't never used this before, but I've seen plenty 
of people use it on socials. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just about to like stick it back here. Where my hair is sticking up the most. And then I'm going to brush it. I know some people usually use like a hot comb and stuff on this. But, um, girl, I wasn't heating up no hot comb now. But I did want to see. I'm trying to see my mirror. Don't this wig look so natural? Like, it looks like I dyed my natural hair. <laughs> For the most part, it's slick, shawty. I got a few little flyaways, but it's definitely not like it was before. So hopefully, this will keep me together this weekend because it's supposed to rain. Unfortunately, on Saturday, on the day of the brunch, it's supposed to rain that morning. So, period. Alright y'all, so let me um show y'all my outfit for the Fascinators brunch. And then I'm going to cut this camera off so I can pack, so I can focus on what I need to do. Because unfortunately, I'm not done with work. I'm just stepping away from work so I can do this. So let me show y'all my little hat that I got from Amazon. It's from this brand. Sizzo, like Lizzo, Sizoe, I don't know. But y'all, the hat, she's nice. Like handmade, this little tag is just, you know, for you to not remove it if you want to return it. But I'm about to remove it because I'm keeping her. Girl, can I remove it? Hold on. Okay. So this is the hat. I just got this like kind of off-white type color. It's showing up very white on camera, but it's not that white in person. Um, but you know, you just kind of like sit it. Can y'all even see? Ooh. You just kind of like sit it on the side like that. Y'all, okay, girl. Girl, all that hard work. All that hard work I just need. Brush her back, okay? But it comes with a headband or a clip. So you can either clip it or you can put the headband inside there and wear it. I'm trying to figure out which way I want to do. When I first tried it on, the headband kind of secured to my head a little better. But the clip allows me to clip it where I want it to be clipped. Kind of like off to the side like that. Like so, like that. You know what I'm saying? So, let me see if I can show y'all. Hold, please. Y'all, this is my, my, um, my closet room is in shambles right now, just to let y'all know. So, yeah. But when you use the clip, you can, like, clip it to the side like that. And it gives, but I kind of wanted to sit like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I... If I'm just doing it, I feel like it's going to slide out. So I don't really know the best way to clip it. I might have to have my mama help me when we get to the brunch tomorrow. I mean, on Saturday. But then you can put the headband into this little part right here. I have this link below. Because I know a lot of people go to like the Kentucky Derby or, you know, certain events that's kind of like that. And then you can sit it like this with the headband. But it's like, I don't know if I really want the headband to show. You know what I'm saying? This white headband to be showing through my hair. Like that. But, you know, I feel like that's a little bit more secure. I don't know. 
I feel like the headband make it look a little childish. You know what I'm saying? I can always bobby pin it. But who want to be doing all that? <laughs> Not I. Said the cat. Okay. And then the color scheme is um, purple or lavender. I think that's what my mom said. So I have this lavender dress that I am going to wear that I've actually had in my closet for some time that I have kept. Um, oh, let me show you my shoes and then I'll show you the dress. Excuse me. Excuse me, Lou. How's it move? So y'all know the Targets. The little Target sandals, they are coming in handy for this spring and summer. So I'm gonna put these on. I think they go well with the hat. It has a little flower up here. So I'm going to put these on for my shoes. And then uh, let me show y'all my dress. So where is she? This dress right here. It's a maxi dress, but it has like the mermaid thing at the bottom. I know y'all can't really see it that well on camera. I will pop a picture up of me in this dress i used to like this used to be my go-to easter dress okay if i wanted a cute little easter maxi i was gonna put this on let me make sure she clean matter of fact <laughs> this dress is from a black on brand called tash fashion shout out to you girl if you're watching still um she was one of the first brands ever to partner with me and work with me when i first started doing fashion content and i have kept the majority of her pieces and this is just one of my favorite pieces that i keep from her and i keep it in my closet because it is just a really good go-to dress like sis just comes through every time and she's gorgeous the color is perfect and everything and i think this is a size 3x Oh, girl. It's faded. That's how long I had it. But I think this is a size 3X. But, yeah. So, that's what I'm going to wear. And I'm going to have it on with the shoes. The shoes. And the hat. So. um, The shoes. To go with it. So I think that'll be cute enough, child. It's good enough. Of course, I will show y'all the full outfit on Saturday. Y'all see how this room is in shambles? This is this is content that I filmed plus content that I'm supposed to film. Um, a new box of stuff over there. I got a new bag of swimwear right here. Just stuff is everywhere. And so is Ozzy. Everywhere. He's actually coming with me. This weekend, so he will be in the hotel with me. I'm about to pack so I can get focused on what I need to do. And then I have to sit back down in front of the computer and do some more work because my trip to Cancun opens for official booking tomorrow. And so I need to schedule an email to go out to the listserv to let the girlies know that they can book. If you are interested in traveling to Cancun with me, make sure you click the link in my description box. I also have it pinned to my comments about us going to Cancun March 18th through the 22nd of 2025. Slots are open. I have 24 slots to go. Uh, they, the booking is open until the slots are booked up. So there's no deadline. It's just first come first serve until the slots are full. Um, if you're signed up for the newsletter that I've been advertising, you should have been getting emails about the price breakdown and all of that. But if you click the link below, you'll see all of that broken down for you as you are looking to book. So I'm super excited to potentially see y'all in Mexico. In Mexico. But yeah, yeah. I'm bloated. And I'm gassy. So let me go so I can pack. I'll see y'all. Either later tonight or at the hotel tomorrow. Okay. Good morning, you guys. It is the next morning and I am headed out. Look at me vlogging. Okay. Vlogging. I'm using, I'm finally using my car uh, tripod thingy 
but it's really shaky I'm pretty sure this footage is gonna be extremely shaky um, so I don't know how long we'll be able to use this I have to play around with this more because I think there's like an anti-shake mode on my camera for like when you're vlogging in the car not sure though I have to look it up but anyway we're headed to Starbucks to get okay are you turning okay then. we're headed to Starbucks to get my um little breakfast before I officially get on the road it looks like it is about to rain I cannot stand commuting like this in the rain but to God be the glory, I know we will be safe and sound, which is another reason why I'm not gonna vlog with this camera on. I have like a four and a half to five hour drive ahead of me anyway. So um, there's just no way I'm gonna vlog that whole thing. But there is a specific area that I have to drive through that is like really strict on speed limits. So I will be paying attention because I already had to pay a $100 ticket a couple months ago. I ain't doing that again. But yeah, we're about to go pick up my Starbucks. I have Ozzy with me um, in the passenger seat. You can't see him right now, but I am pretty sure you will be able to hear him yelling for his life because I have him in his cat carrier. And Ozzy isn't like one of those cats that um, is difficult to travel with, so to speak. I mean, I've never put him on a plane. I've only took him in the car. But he just does not like to be in his cat carrier with it. Hold on, I'm trying to see where this car is going. Okay. He does not like to be in his cat carrier with it zipped up. Which is so funny because he will sleep in his cat carrier. Like if I leave it out in the house, he will jump in it and sleep in it. As long as it's unzipped. But the moment that I zip it up, he, he be turned up. So you might hear him crying. Um, puppy tears basically in the passenger side here and there let me get to the Starbucks baby okay hold on I feel so bad because I know this footage is like probably giving some of y'all vertigo my bad I'm trying okay I am trying Baby, I need you to come on. Thank you. See? Boo Boo, you okay? You okay, Goody? You okay, Boo Boo? Is this homeless man? I want to give him $5. Starbucks. Yes, get you some breakfast. I love to like keep a little couple of dollars of cash on me so I can give to the homeless in my area. We have a really large homeless uh, veteran population in my area, like really large. Um, so I try to keep a few dollars to give to people. Hi there, welcome to Starbucks. Hi, yes, I'm doing a mobile pickup for Sonia. Alrighty, we'll see you at the window. Thank you. Hi. Hello. It was mobile pickup for Sonia? Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, you too. Alright y'all, I got like bucks. Which I ain't even really been um, on Starbucks like that because I found this local coffee shop that I am obsessed with right now. And the, the chai tea doesn't tear my stomach up like Starbucks does. But 
for traveling purposes, we gon' we gon' do what's close to the house. Okay. Uh, why is this straw wet? Now I can't open it. Oh my gosh, on today. All right, let me get on the road. Let me get on the road. Have to get on the road. So I will holler at y'all when we get to Charlotte. Bye. -bye. Hey, hey, y'all. I just touched down in Charlotte. Y'all should like recognize this hotel room if y'all watch my vlogs. I stay in the same hotel every time I come home. So me and Ozzy just touched down. I got him situated. Don't mind my little Ozzy trash bag up here. So hopefully he can't get in it. Um, but yeah, literally just got here and got the room together. Y'all already know I checked the bed for bed bugs, okay? If you watch my travel vlogs, any of my travel vlogs, the first thing I do when I come into a hotel before I unpack anything, before I use the bathroom, I check the bed. I check it for bed bugs. I check it for pee spots, blood spots, hair, other things. I check, okay? So the bed is good. I always have a good stay when I come to, ooh washed out I always, always have a good stay when I come to this hotel so I'm actually about to go see my grandmother um I kind of mentioned this earlier in the vlog but I have not seen my grandma since my grandfather passed um around Thanksgiving of last year here's y'all's nephew getting comfortable so I'm about to go see her she is not going to let me vlog she ain't gonna be on the vlog she only want to see the camera come out so y'all will not see her. <laughs> um, but I'm supposed to be getting up with my sister after she gets off work. So hopefully we'll get up to something. I am hungry. Um, the only thing that's over here is Chick-fil-A. So I'm probably gonna stop and get me something to eat and then head over to my grandma's house. So. Um, if I pick the if I pick the vlog back up tonight, it'll more than likely be when I'm with my sister. But if not, um, I will see y'all tomorrow as I'm getting ready. I'm hoping to do a little get ready with me as I'm getting ready for the brunch. I think I told y'all my niece is supposed to be staying with me tonight. Um, so if she stays in, I'll try to see if she wants to be on the vlog. I'm the only one that do this in my family, y'all. My family don't. <laughs> My family don't be doing this job, so you know you gotta ask people if they want to be on the blog or not. Um, but yeah, I'm about to get myself situated, freshen up a little bit. I literally just have on like the most casual outfit. Let me see if I can show y'all. Excuse me, Dooley. So I literally just have on like a baby tee and some yoga pants from Old Navy that are sliding down right now. Um, so I'm debating whether I'm gonna keep this very casual outfit on or if I'm going to change into something. I probably won't because I probably won't because I'm literally not doing anything. Um, I'm about to just freshen up a little bit, use the bathroom and literally head back out, so. Yeah, I will see you guys later. Good morning, guys. It is the next morning. It's Saturday morning. I did not pick the camera back up last night. My sister wasn't feeling great. And then um, her boyfriend locked himself out of his car. So we had that going on. Um, but me and my niece just went downstairs to get breakfast. It is like packed in this hotel this weekend. Um, so we are just eating our little continental breakfast chair. What they what they had left over. We eating the scraps or whatever they had left over chair. But um no. Ozzy. Come on. I'm trying to keep Ozzy from being in her face while she eats. But this is our little breakfast. You know, your usual continental breakfast. Um, I am exhausted. I need coffee this morning for sure. So we are just going to eat and then my mom's trying to get us to be at the event at like one something to be there early. We're going to see how that go. Okay. We're going to see how that go. It's moving a little slow today. But yeah, I just want to get the vlog started for the day. Of course, I will come back once I start getting dressed so I can show y'all 
the fit and everything how everything came together y'all gonna be seeing it in real time with me because i never tried everything on together i just i had it in my brain <laughs> so hopefully it comes out good and i'm about to drink this cup of coffee because i need it okay to a fascinators brunch with my aunt and my mom and we wanted to show you guys our outfits let's get dressed the color scheme is purple so i have a lavender dress your dress is from i don't know i think it's from amazon this is how it fascinated right here you know it go in your head whatever so my dress is from a black owned brand called Tash Fashion and I'm pairing it with these pearl earrings from Shein and a pair of rings that I got from Torrid. And then my bucket bag I'm wearing is from Shein and shoes are from Target. So here's my fascinator and here's hers. And we, neither one of us know how to put these on. If I try to clip it up there, do you like that? Mm -hmm. She's shy y'all. This is Maya. She got her fascinator on, her ponytail, and her dress. What shoes are you? Are you wearing sneakers? No. What are you wearing? Flat. Okay, go get your shoes. So this is our finished look. Y'all, I promise I did not force my niece to do this. She wanted to join me until I cut that camera on and she got super, super shy. But this is my final look. I did pick up my fascinator from Amazon. I believe her fascinator and dress are from Amazon as well. You got anything to say?
fellowship, make some connections, renew some connections. I know I've seen a lot of people that I haven't seen in a month of Sundays. Say that, a month of Sundays. So again, I'm just excited about everybody being here. We want you to have a good time. We have a great program uh, lined up. As you can see, we have a lot of guests with us today, and we'll be introducing them as they come forward. But just relax and enjoy yourself. I'll pop it in and tell you that the lady speaking right now is actually my aunt who threw the event and she was just kind of giving um, some follow up to what the host said of like why we're here, what the ministry is about. Um, and so she's about to pray over the event. But let me tell y'all, we ended up having church, baby. I was not prepared. I should have wore flats. OK, and I did bring my flats. But like we ended up having praise and worship church. So enjoy these next few clips of the praise and worship because this was the type of carrying on we had for the next two hours. <laughs>
We actually had a little sermonette. Okay, we basically had church on a Saturday for Mother's Day. Okay, um, so we actually had a mime performance, not praise dance, but a mime praiser. And then uh, the ladies did the queen strut and we wrapped up the event. So I hope you enjoyed fellowshipping with my family and I. <laughs> y'all the event is done i am back in my room i had to come back and feed ozzy um my mom and my niece are on their way back to kind of hang out here for a little bit and my mom wanted to see ozzy um my mom is actually relocating tomorrow and so um we're gonna spend some time with her she's gonna be driving to um her new residence tomorrow and i'm gonna be dropping back to va so we definitely wanted to spend some time um but i hope y'all enjoyed the footage from the event it was a like a women's mother's day event the weekend after mother's day um it was really nice i know y'all saw baby we worship one thing about my family oh we gonna sing a song baby we're gonna worship okay so that was really really nice um hold on y'all i'm trying to check my phone because my sister texted me <sighs> baby i'm trying i need to come up out these spanks you understand me these skims okay i gotta pee <laughs> but i just wanted to update y'all that we are back in the room hey the, uh, it's giving bunny hot babes excuse me he been here all day so he is like cuddly right now but yeah so it was a really good event um i love the way my outfit came out it was it was hot. it was hot humid in there so my feet kept sliding out of my heels so i didn't even get to like take pictures with my heels on but i included that little footage of my reel so y'all can see the final outfit i am out of breath because i need to take these spanks off so let me take these skin i keep saying spanks let me take these skims off so i can use the bathroom and change into some casual clothes do a little wipe down okay and i'll pick the camera back up <laughs> Good morning, beauties. Uh, it is the next morning. Of course, I did not pick the camera back up last night because, baby, when I tell you it was worn out, my mom and them uh, got here, stayed for like a little bit. I went downstairs, got me some hot wings, and then I got in the bed. Okay? 
So it is Sunday morning. I am getting ready to drive back home. I'm actually about to pack up all of this stuff <laughs> so that I can put it in my suitcase and stop by a Starbucks, of course, and get on the road because this weather has been a little shaky all weekend. It actually turned out to be a really nice weekend. It was hot, humid. Like, all the pictures y'all seen, I didn't have my heels on because my feet were sweating. <laughs> my feet were sweating and they would not stay in my heels. Um, but I'm glad I recorded that reel so y'all could see, like, my outfit or whatever. But, yeah, so I'm just getting ready to pack. I am going to film a, like, outfit of the day for the outfit that I'm driving home in because I wanted it to be kind of like one of my casual outfits that I wore here, but... We didn't end up doing anything last night, so um, I had on sweats. But I'm going to wear it back home because it's cute and it's comfortable. So yeah, I just wanted to get the vlog started for the day. Started and probably closed out for the day. Um, but we'll see. I might pick the camera up once I make it back to Charlotte to let y'all know. What? I might, put the, I might put the camera back up once I make it back to Virginia just to let y'all know that I made it back home. Um, but yeah. We got some packing to do. So let's do that. While I'm, I'm watching um, old 90s movies on the TV. So I'm watching U.S. Marshall. You ever tried towing a car on the Dan Ryan at 3 With the Wesley Snipes? So let's get this stuff packed up. And we're going to head to the house, okay? Hey, Mark! It's okay. It's okay. What's happening? Just a little mistake in our Get dressed with me for this casual look, starting with this Savage Fenty bralette, and then I'm going to pair it with these Web Dolls wide leg pants in Fuchsia. These are my favorite wide leg pants from Web Dolls. Y'all have seen them on my page before. I'm going to spruce up this look with accessories because I'm wearing absolutely no makeup today. Okay, both of these necklaces are from Ashley Stewart. I'm gonna do a little layer look and then I'm gonna take a tip from my grandma. She used to tie a knot at the end of her long chain necklaces to kind of give it a little flare. And I always love that look. Then I'm gonna pull out the matching button down top to the pants, wearing it as a cardigan. I love where this is going. I love the white under it with the accessories. Um, my Amazon Bottega dupe earrings are the earrings that I decided to go with. These little slides from Target, cop those. They're like a cute little elevated Birkenstock. My bag is also from Ashley Stewart to give an extra added pop of color. And this is the final look. I actually wore this look on my last day home visiting Charlotte, North Carolina. It was a perfect little casual look. It was cool and breezy that day. So it was perfect weather for this look. And then I actually drove the five hours back to Virginia in this look. It was comfortable the whole way. So I hope you enjoy it. See y'all in the next one. Bye. All right, beauties, as you can see, I made it home. It is 4.35. I literally just got home around 4.15. The drive was great. Baby, I was flying up 85, okay? Flying. <laughs> so I made it home, literally just got in the house, fed Izzy, freshened up a bit, and now I'm about to sit on the couch and watch me a movie. Today is Pentecost Sunday. Um, I did miss church today, of course, because I was driving home. But one of the things I'm trying to prioritize in my life is a true Sabbath. And so I am making Sundays a day of rest. And one of the things that God and I enjoy doing on Sundays is finding a good, you know, two or so movies to watch on a Sunday. Just relax. Um, I do want to start incorporating bubble baths on Sundays. Um, I haven't been able to do it the last couple of Sundays. I hope I'm able to do it tonight because I have a feeling that once I sit down on this couch, I ain't going to want to get back up, okay? But hopefully I'll be able to do it tonight. So I just wanted to come in, close out the vlog. Again, I hope you all enjoyed. Um, I'm trying to get better at vlogging when I do vlog, okay? Because I'm not saying I'm becoming a vlogger like I was before when I first got this camera. But when I do have events and stuff going on, I want to give you guys a quality video. And speaking of vlogs... Stay tuned because we're going out of town again in seven days. In another week, I will be in Nashville, Tennessee for a work conference. And I definitely want to vlog when I am out there. So my plan, I'm hoping that I still stick to this plan. 
my plan is to do a pack with me video so y'all can see what I'm packing because I'm gonna be out there for like four four days from a Tuesday to Friday um so I pack with me video because I got some cowgirl boots that I'm trying to style so I need like y'all to help me pack okay um and then a actual vlog of the trip in the conference so stay tuned for that more videos to come and then we will get back into the fashion scene fully in june don't forget about the cancun mexico faith and fashion retreat coming up next year in march 2025 booking is open so i will have the link in the description box and pinned in the comments for you guys to check out the trip um i have 24 slots to go and the slots stay open until they're full they are first come and first serve and you have up to 90 days before we go on the trip to book your slot as long as slots are still available so if you're interested in traveling with me Make sure you check out that information. If you signed up for the trip email listserv, you should have been getting emails from me all this week. So, well, last week, once y'all see this, it would have been a week ago that you're getting emails. So, yeah, I can't wait to see uh, all of you all in Cancun. And I will see y'all in my next video. Love you. Bye.